Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Doc Training Web Series. Today, I'll be demonstrating a feature on how to save your email attachments to a SharePoint document library. In order to do this, you would require Microsoft Flow. This is going to act as your integrator between your email or your Office 365 email client and your SharePoint environment, right? So. The first thing what you need to do is go to flow.microsoft.com, sign in using your Office 365 credentials, and then get started, right? So right now what you see on my screen is the Flow interface. I've just signed in to flow.microsoft.com and then um, use my credentials, right? So here you'll be able to see my Flow's approvals, templates, connectors, and then you also have a provision to learn on how to use this. Um, you can create flows from scratch, but you know the best thing is you can search for templates, so that's easier for you to get started. So I'm going to search for SharePoint, right? And I can see a flow. It says save my email attachments to a SharePoint document library. So I'm going to select that, and then the next thing what I need to do is to configure basically. So this flow will connect to my Office 365 Outlook as well as my SharePoint environment. So the thing what I need to do is I need to add my connection, right? Both Office 365 and SharePoint, and then you click on continue. All right, now this is what it shows up on my screen. It says on new email and apply to each attachment on the email. So this is how the workflow is gonna work, right? So on my new email, I need to select which folder it needs to check in, right? So uh, do you want your attachments to be transferred to your document library when, it, when you receive an email, right? So you can select on inbox or um, let's say you, you get receive an email and now you need to forward it to someone else or you're going to send the same thing to someone else. So the, this trigger applies when you send out an email. So here, for instance, I'm going to select the folder send items. So basically when I receive an attachment, I'm going to forward to someone else and then it's going to work for me. So uh, this is going to be my trigger. So it's going to fetch for items upon sending out a for, uh, email with an attachment. I can click on advanced option and set it up like, you know, to address or kind of, uh, I can configure in such a way as well. So let's see. I'm just going to search for it. Yeah, and it automatically fetches the value. Importance of the email, let's put it as any. It has, to, it definitely should have an attachment. So it's yes. Again, it's yes. And you can also bring in a subject filter. So what Microsoft Flow does is it's going to search for a particular string value, right? So based on those subjects it's going to scan it up on your outlook and then the trigger is applied based on this particular field right so once you're done with this right so go to the next stage of the flow is nothing but to apply to each attachment on the email so here it's going to fetch that it's it says to select an output from a previous step so it's going to grab the attachment from the stage and it's going to pass it on to the next stage now the next thing that you need to do is convert this attachment to a file on your sharepoint library so what you need to do is i've created a folder called outlook attachments on my sharepoint site what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that from here so the first thing that you need to do is select the site Right, so here's my sales portal. And then I look for the folder path. So I click on the folder icon and then search for my folders. Now I see an Outlook attachments folder. That's where I need to transfer the files, right? I can also click on edit and then the file name and the file content has to reflect over there, right? Perfect. So that's about that. And I can keep adding more actions whenever required, right? So I can keep on adding conditions or actions, whatever I need to, and that's it. So the flow is gonna work this way. On a new email, when I send out an email to someone 
from this email address, right? Whatever attachments were there in the in the email body, it's gonna get a copy. It's gonna transfer to my SharePoint document library. This is the workflow that I need to achieve. I click on save. Upon clicking on save flow, now your workflow is being enabled, right? And then let's get started, right? So I'm going to my email, right? I already have an attachment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to forward it. Okay, I'm sending it to Alex Wilbur. Doesn't matter. So anyways, I have the attachment. I'm gonna click on the send button. I'm just gonna click on my send items. Yes, I have sent the file, right? So according to the flow, whatever files have been forwarded, if it contains an attachment, it's gonna to reflect to my Outlook attachments folder, right? You need to have some patience. It's not gonna reflect in one shot. You need to give some time. So you need to keep refreshing your folder. So have some patience, give it some time, probably like 10 to 15 minutes max, and then you should find your file reflected over here, right? Perfect. So now I can see the file here, right? It's been transferred. I mean, it's, it is reflected onto my SharePoint document library. So that's it, right? It's simple to do. There are a lot of flows that's been uh, that's available for you to configure. Uh, I'm going to come up with a lot of flow-related videos that's going to help you automate a lot of your processes. Like this is one example to have your email attachments to a shop in SharePoint document like. So this is an easy example on how to save your email attachments to your SharePoint document library. I'm going to come up with a lot of videos similar to this platform on Microsoft Flow and I really encourage each one of you to start using Flow to automate a lot of your business processes. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So stay tuned for more and more SharePoint tutorials and also subscribe to our YouTube channel Doc365. Thank you and have a great day.